Hey guys, what's up? This is Ali here. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own Minecraft server using Craft Bucket, which allows you to add plugins from World Edit to Essentials to World Guard to Command Book. There's loads of stuff you can add uh, to Minecraft um, Craft Bucket that allows you to make a server very professional and just take away all the bad people, I guess. Yeah, so let's get on with this. So uh, you want to go to dl dot bucket dot org, and then all you need to do is pretty much click this button to download Craft Bucket. But you don't actually want to do this. What you want to do is press alternate versions because this one is 1.3.2, which came out a long time ago. But 1.4.2 came out about 10 days ago, which is what you want. So what you want to do is pretty much check the top one if it says development build then it is going to be buggy um, otherwise check the the latest one that doesn't say development build so in this case it can be beta or it can be um, recommended build so any of those three so yeah I'm gonna download the first one but I already have it so I don't really need to re-download it again but anyways yeah just either choose the top one or the top beta build one two yeah um so after you downloaded it just click and drag it to a folder an empty folder and then create a new text file text document open it up and then type in the following which is this i will have this in the description so you don't need to pause the video and copy letter by letter so you click file and then save as and then very quickly look for batch file which is this one over here and then yeah that is it just name your file so in this case I'm gonna name it starter now it really matters after you download after you download the file you wanna the the craft bucket file you wanna make sure you name it something um, like craft bucket or something that you can rename it easily um, because every month or two when a new update comes out you're going to need to update craft bucket and craft bucket releases their file name with something like this and then bunch of numbers and then letters and then so on and so on um, so for example if 1.5 came out it will be something like this 1.5.1 and yeah you, you need to name it something like that and then come over here and then make sure this is the same as the file name so if I was to have this be 2 like that and then minimize this and then try and open this up it will say unable to access jar file graph bucket 2 dot jar like isn't f uh, it can't find it basically so press any key to continue and we know that this is a fail so the proper way to use it is by typing the proper file name and then yeah that is it just delete that we don't need it and then just let this generate all the files needed to start your own minecraft server just give it a second it's loading up the world for us it's going to load the overbar uh, overworld and nether and then the end and there you go it is done now we can type help for help you can see a long list of stuff but I actually am going to use a useful command which is needed if you are an admin or a moderator on a server then you want to type op and then your name so there you go I just op myself if someone does something bad then just ban them yeah be like bitch you banned there you go and then if you want to unban someone it's actually pardon and then the player name I'm not sure exactly if I did this. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, it doesn't matter if someone's banned. It's not going to give you an error. Um, so, yeah, there you go. That is how you actually use the commands. Now, I'm actually going to log in using the SK launcher. Then, just log in. Okay, multiplayer. Localhost, 
then yeah there you go it's online um now if you want to play locally with um other players in your house then all you need to do is type localhost and then it doesn't matter what you name your server press done press this join server and then pow it should log in okay there we go it's logged in how awesome is that now all we need to do is type a mode creative and then you, you know your opt now if someone was to be banned for example if I was to ban myself I should get kicked banned by admin there you go um, so yeah you know how it works but I'm gonna unban myself and let's just say um, you don't like this uh, a, mi a minecraft server let's just say you don't like that text then very easily you can go to the server file right here um, you you won't know how to open the file so you want to right click open with choose the default program actually no um, you're just gonna right click and then click open with dot 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 and then you can use notepad but I actually prefer using notepad plus plus which I'm actually going to show you guys very quickly you can download it very easily from notepad dash plus dash plus and then download and then download the file pretty pretty useful program you can do anything you want with it and I mean it, anything so yes um, so this oh actually this saves all the uh, the file or the um, this is the log where it saves all the um, basically anything that happens in the game uh, with chat or commands but you want to go to the second one which type is properties and then click on it and then yeah just set all your files here so uh, let's say I don't want the nether so I'm gonna set this to false and let's say I want my actually no it, yeah this does matter actually so I actually prefer if you actually keep this name to world and don't change it you can use um, plugins such as multiverse uh, to change your world name so actually it's like an alias so it doesn't actually change the name it only has like a, a second name that appears in, in front of it um, but yeah it actually does matter world name because some plugins do need you to type in the proper world name and the last thing you want is misspe misspelling it um, so you want to allow flight if you're on a creative server um, the server port you don't need to worry about the level type I'm not sure what this is uh, the enable archon this is something you don't need to worry about unless your server is like big and you you need like a um, a console wherever you go this is basically remote console uh, where you can use console wherever you you go on your phone or laptop like not laptop um, iPads whatever stuff like that um, server IP you want to keep this to default unless you have like a, a ported IP you can get your IP from cmyip.com I'm not actually going to show you my IP because that is very risky you want to keep your IP safe um, spawn NPCs true that is to spawn um, the villagers um, whitelist I actually want to make this true because I don't want random people joining my server whenever they want spawn animals I want that to be true snoop enabled this is something that it doesn't really um, you don't really need to worry about but this is actually what keeps um, it actually saves like whoever logs in the game has this snoop option where they can actually either enable it or disable it um, which is right here gives away all your computer information nothing personal or private so only the computer specs and game specs such uh, stuff um, but yeah don't worry about that uh, hardcore I actually prefer if this is false because if you die then you're dead you can't log back in not sure how it works um texture pack this um right here you can have like an http um a link to your texture pack where people can download it 
straight away you don't want to have um websites like adfly which uh, need you to press skip ad to start the download you can use stuff such as um um uh what, what's it called steal uh steal something um I, I forgot what the website's called but you can use uh read links that redirect you to a thing um if you want to like generate money i guess out of it or something but i don't really prefer it i don't know the downsides of it i don't know the terms and stuff um online mo online mode is uh you want to keep it true to keep away all the people that crack the servers um that crack the game i mean um not crack it but basically uh that haven't bought the game um so yeah you want to keep this to false if you are playing with other people at home that don't have the game um that haven't bought it or true if you're playing with people globally and you don't want all the people that haven't paid for the game pvp true of course pvp is player versus player difficulty um this is easy uh easy is for zero normal for one uh, no, I mean peaceful for zero, easy for one, normal for two, and then hard for three, and then one. Actually, I'll make it zero. Game mode uh, zero is for survival, one is for creative, two is for adventure. And max players, you can change this to two if you like. Spawn monsters, um, let's turn this to false. Uh, generate structures. Uh, this is stuff such as like uh, NPC villages or um, uh, the sand sand villages, whatever. Um, view distance. This is like far or tiny stuff like that. Spawn protection. This is the protection around spawn. If you are using plugins such as World Guard, then you don't really need this. This is the uh, message message of the day, which appears right here. Uh, a Minecraft server. Um, so let's just change this to uh, YouTube tutorial. Save that and then refresh. Actually, no. Uh, we're going to need to actually save and then close this. And then you can type reload, but if you're using plugins, then it will mess it up for you. So you want you actually don't want to use reload all the time with plugins so I'm just going to type reload since I'm not using any plugins yet and then there you go everything is reloaded just uh, press refresh and then all the changes that you made will be done pretty awesome I know I know yes um, now another thing if you noticed I actually enabled the I'm correct I enabled the white list over here now what this does is uh, makes it so so pl players can't join your server without actually having uh, without being on the list so if I was to join server it would say you are not whitelisted or maybe I am no I'm not whitelist true what's wrong with that something is wrong here and I'm not up um, what's wrong yeah uh, I'm not really sure what's wrong right now actually I'm gonna start the server maybe that will help oops start the server again multiplayer Let's try and log in hopefully it won't let me in maybe yeah there we go so I guess you have to restart the server in order to apply all changes um, so you are not whitelisted on this server so the way you fix that is either by going to the console and type in whitelist and then the player name and then basically you can relog again of course or automatically oh there we go yeah now it's gonna uh, go to the link where I put google.com so I messed it up oh actually I don't think it is a link I think it's a package I never really tried this before I think it's like a zip file that you need to add here and then just basically link where it is uh, so I don't think it is a a link uh, maybe I messed up um, 
So yes, it won't do anything, of course, because there is no texture pack. Um, oh, let me up myself. Okay, and then let's just retype that. There you go, I can do all I want as if I am an admin, even though this server's a fakey, it's not really a server. Um, but hopefully I did help you guys, um, how to create and use a server, I guess. Um, there are many tutorials out there on how to actually do more advanced stuff, which I will get into later in a couple weeks. Um, I am still working on a couple things. So you will have to give me a bit of time um, for me to actually get started on that stuff. But till then, thank you guys for watching and hope that again this helped. If it did, leave a like, um, subscribe if you want more and leave a comment with feedback and stuff. So yeah, bye bye.